Beauty friends, welcome back again. So happy you popped over again to see what I am up to today. For everyone who is new here, welcome. My name is Yanni and I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, I hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone here who is not subscribed to my channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and of course hit the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs. Like I always say, enough talking and let's jump into today's inspiration. Hey, you see already, again, we are ready for a new DIY and for today we are going to need, of course, again, our tumbler tower blocks and these are the smaller blocks. Of course, I used in the past uh, a half year ago the bigger blocks because I couldn't uh, find the smaller blocks. But a lot of you already use the smaller blocks, so I hope that everyone can also find the smaller blocks. They are also very easy to order online. I have here my container with everything I need, my wood glue, mud pots, twine, scissors, brushes, everything I need for every DIY. So. And of course, I have some paint. You can use any paint, spray paint or glam, uh, glam paint, I would say. <laughs> I would say, If you are a glam person, you can do some gold, silver, anything you like. And I have here my wet uh, old piece of kitchen towel to wipe away the glue. These are the main pieces we need because you can give your own twist on it. We are going to make, of course, kind of a farmhouse owl. Here in the Netherlands, we call it owl. So it's uh, also three letters, but we call owl and you call it owl. So we will see how this will turn out because I always give my own twist on it. So it can look nice, but it doesn't have to be. So we will see how this will look like. So we are going to build up our owl from the uh, bottom on. And of course, if you are seeing something you don't like, just change it up any way you like for yourself. I don't know what this is. I already have <laughs> Piece. so in my blocks <laughs> so we are having three four five six and we can do another one of six because this will be the bottom of the owl over here and we are going to do the longest side of course one and number two place them immediately against each other so your glue is not running everywhere number four and number five and number six is the closure up squeeze it and make sure that you have a nice straight line and you see already this block is much thicker than the other block so i'm going to remove them i'm going to place it on the side to dry and i'm going to do a smaller one in between because or else the whole owl will be crooked because if you have one block in between which is not correctly the size then you don't get a nice look. So this is already one of six. This is will be a number two of six. And this will be the start of the building up of our owl. And you can use it as decor, but you also can do later, you can glue an, a dowel under it and you can place it in a centerpiece. So you can go all the way with this one. And of course, like I told you earlier, if you are a glam person, you can spray paint it in the gold or in the silver, just what you like. I'm going to give this a couple of minutes rest. So we gave it a couple of minutes and now we're going to do some glue over the whole piece. Make sure that every block has a little bit of the glue this way. And we're going to place this one on top. Make sure that it's fitting nicely. Give it some pressure from above and we're going to place this one aside so it can dry in but feel with your fingers if you have a nice line because we are going to putting it straight up for the owl he doesn't stay this way this is already number one now we're going to do the first part of the body of the owl now we're going to make a couple of rows but we're going to do it in a different way i have 10 blocks already two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're going to lay them aside so not flat on the thing but on his side and now we're going to do very easy just so glue on the thicker side of your block very easy this way and this place them against each other and this is three number four number five number six number seven Number eight and number nine is 
En of course, number 10 is the closure up. You're going to give it some pressure on the side. And of course, you see already some blocks are trying to pop up. Just be careful. Just make sure that you have a nice straight line. Go over it. Wipe away the glue. And again, make sure, feel with your fingers that you have it as straight as you can have it. Place it over the side and still feel with your fingers. Now we go for a row of nine. This is already four blocks. Five, six, seven, eight and nine. And we do this another time because we need two rows of nine. The same four, five, six and seven, eight and nine. And we do here the same. Just easy. Do on the bigger side, you do some glue. Place it against each other in like a train. Just row them together. Very easy. And of course, for everyone who doesn't uh, want to see how I make my rows, I totally understand. But uh, for everyone who does enjoy it, I always uh, do it this way. So if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. I really hope you do. You can skip forward and or else maybe this channel is not for you if it takes much too long of your time. So this is number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven and eight. And number nine is the closure up again. Squeeze it. I always say I make my DIYs for everyone who enjoys to make them also. But if you want to have a nice, flashy and uh, uh, fast DIY, uh, that's not me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not flashy. I'm not, not uh, very fast. I'm always doing it because I want that everyone enjoys it and even can make it themselves. Because like I always say, I'm also an amateur just like everyone else. And I li just like to show what I like and try to do as much as you can with your tumbler towel blocks. So we have one of 10, two of nine, and now we go to two of eight. This is number four, five, six, seven, and number eight. And we do row number two. We have already four, five, six, seven, and number eight. And then we already have the under part almost of our owl. This is already the row of eight. So we are going already fast. And I place them over here. And let me know in the comments down below if you uh, are also going to try to make this owl for in your decor. Because I love uh, animals in my decor. But it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. But I like um, animals in my decor. I just uh, found uh, on a, a, a thrift store here in the Netherlands, I found a horse, uh, a rocking horse, very uh, big one for only four euros. So I was really happy because here they are very um, expensive. So I always love to go thrift shopping and find things which are very old. And I do it in combination with the things are new. So, of course, again, wipe away the glue. Again, place it aside and make sure that everything sticks nicely so it can dry in like this. So we give it a couple of minutes drying. So we are going to get the one of 10. We're going to get the two of nine. And we're going to get the two of eight. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some glue on this side, on the whole piece. On the piece of eight, I'll do a little bit more. I'm going to place it exactly in the middle of the one of ten. So very easy this way. I'm going to do the other one of nine. Oh, you see already? I'm also going to glue this one against the one of ten, but on the other side. So very easy, but make sure that you have them uh, like the same length in between. I'm going to get the one of eight over here. I'm going to place this one over here in the middle of the one of 
nine and here the same do some glue and we're going to place this one on this side but also in the middle you're going to find the perfect place and make sure that everything is fitting in nicely again squeeze it and every time feel with your fingers if you still have it in the right spot and we're going to give this a couple of minutes rest so you see we gave it a couple of minutes rest and i show you now closely how it's turned now the middle one is the one of ten then you get two on each side the nine and here the two of eight on the air ending what we're going to do we're going to place it so on our hands we do some glue over here like this we're going to place it down and we're going to get our bottom we already made earlier and we're going to place this under here also in the middle squeeze it and we're going to give this also a couple of minutes rest so the uh, wood glue can uh, suck in a little bit in the wood so in the meantime while this is uh, drying in i'm going to place it aside we're going to get four blocks flat just really flat on your table three four two times four and one of three so we're going to do the longer side one and number two and a number three and fill them up with number four this is number two and number three is here to close you up and of course here will be number four to close you up again again we're going to squeeze it make sure that you have a nice straight line this one also and the one of number three and we're going to give this a couple of minutes drying time so we gave them a couple of minutes drying time and it's not totally dry yet what i'm going to do i'm going to do some glue on this one on this side and of course on the other side and i'm going to place them on top of here on the one of four so very easy place them in the middle and we're going to place this one on top also in the middle be careful with when you're pressing it down because everything is not totally dry i show it to you in a moment how it really looks like so i'm going to give it a couple of minutes rest so i gave it a couple of minutes and this is how it is looking like so you do two of four and number three will be in the middle what we're going to do we're going to do some glue on the one side over here and we're going to build up further our owl and we're going to place this one over here in the middle again make sure that you find in the middle because he has to go a little bit this way and now we're going to squeeze it and make sure that everything looks very nice and this is how far you already are I know it doesn't look like an owl yet i know <laughs> but we hope it will so this is already the start we're going to now further with his head we are going to do four pieces of five so we do five blocks and again five blocks and because this is a little bit tricky i'm going to do together with you so also again five five and five so we have four pieces of five and i do it as fast as i can and we do over here and this is already his head but if you want to change up his head it's also fine if you have a better idea just do whatever you think is right i just try in mine and i never know where it will end but and there are always things later that you say, oh, maybe I could do, could have done this differently. I also made uh, recently an, a rooster bench. And of course, I should have done the middle piece of the rooster bench. I should have done a little wider. But that's always with DIYing. I make it and you can change it up for the better. So and later I can change mine up again also. Then I have to make a new one. But also with the rooster bands i needed to do something different so we have squeezed it together and you see already one wants to pop out and over here squeeze it and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest 
So we made all four of them uh, dry in for a couple of minutes, not too long. And we're going to do on three of them, we do some glue. And we're just going to build a very easy on top of each other. And this way. And this is the closure up. We're going to place this on the side. Make sure that we have a nice straight line. And we're going to make one block out of it. Give them some pressure. Not too much because it's not totally dry. But even when it breaks, it doesn't matter. Just build it together again. Squeeze it again. And you are fit to go. Because it doesn't matter. You can easily glue it together again. So don't worry about it. It's no problem. So this is already a piece of the head. And we're going to give this a couple of minutes drying again. So in the meantime, while this piece is drying, we're going to make one of four. So again, we just glue them together on the sides again. And this one on the side and this one. And then you have already your piece of four. And we're going to make one piece of three. Also flat on the sides. Do some glue. And this one. And squeeze it. And squeeze and wipe away the glue. Always wipe away the glue. Because or else you get one big mess. And then redo it. And make sure that you have a nice straight line again. And we give this also a little bit of rest. So we gave it a couple of minutes, the four block and the three block. And what we're going to do, we do some glue on the four. Very easy. And we're going to place it on the side and we place it on the top of the block of five. Exactly in the middle. I show it to you a little bit better in a moment. I do some glue on the three blocks. Again, place this one in front of the four blocks. Also in the middle. So I show it to you this way. So you have four pieces of um, four pieces of five. Then you have one of four, and then you have one of three. And now we're going to let this dry in also a couple of minutes, and then we're going to glue it on the top of the body. So now I'm going to get my body of my um, owl, and of course I'm doing some glue on the top. Make sure that you have everywhere glue. You place it down. And you place this one exactly in the middle again. And you're going to squeeze it together. And now we already have one part, the body and his head. Now we only need the uh, top. I it always is a little bit with a bow. But I'm going to look for something new. I hope it work, works. I have really no idea. Probably not. But we will see how it goes. So we're going to place this aside. What we're going to do, we are going to do... Uh, four blocks in a row and number two and number four and we're going to let this rest first and then we're going to build it further so again squeeze it wipe away the glue and this is with a, a, a kind of a little bit of a bigger owl maybe i'm going to do later uh, also a smaller one but we have to see how this is looking like so again Squeeze it and give it a couple of minutes drying. So what I'm going to do is just to try. I really have no idea if it will work or not. I'm going to do on the corner over here. I'm going to do some glue. And I'm going to let this dry in for a little moment. So only on the exact corner. And I do on this side the same. Also on the corner. And I'm going to place it down. And I'm going to place one of my blocks kind of sideways over here. First I'm going to do some glue over here. I'm doing the same over here. And I really have no idea if this will stay or not, or if it does glue together. I really don't know. I give them a little twist and I'm going to let them dry in. So we will see how this will look like. And or else it is just one failure, but <laughs> we will see. I gave it a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, because I don't think he's uh, big enough, I'm going to do uh, one block also on the corner, a loose block, and I'm going to place it again over here. Just touch it each other this way. And I'm going to do here the same. 
and maybe it doesn't work and I have the hope that it will but probably it doesn't but <laughs> you have to try sometimes and just place it against each other and just let it dry in. We will see how this will turn out. Of course, I'm also going to make plan B. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'm going to do four blocks. Again, the same. Just four pieces on the longer side, glue together over here. And this is the closure up. We're going to give this also a couple of minutes drying. So in the meantime, while our piece of four is drying in, we're going to take two blocks. We do a little line at the ending of the smaller side. So over here, I showed you a little bit closer, just at the ending. You just place one of the other blocks halfway and just squeeze it together this way. Of course, we are making a second one. So we do a small line at the ending over here. So again, you see here, and I get a loose block and I'm going to glue it halfway. So very easy, squeeze it and let it dry in for a couple of minutes this way. And we're going to wait until we can glue it on this one. So we have our four piece and we have our two pieces which you did glue on the halfway. I you see a little bit of glue over here, but we are going to work that away later. We're going to place one of four straight up. We're going to do some glue on the wider side over here but of course at the ending and we're going to place it halfway on this block we're going to do here the same just some glue over here and we're going to place this one also halfway on this block so we're going to give it some pressure and we're going to let this dry in So I can already, <laughs> already see that plan A is not going to work. Maybe if you do some screw, uh, of course, in the sides, in the openings, maybe then it has a little bit more structure to glue on, but this is not going to work. So I'm going to do some on the top of my owl. I'm going to do some glue. So very easy over here. I'm going to place it down and I'm going to place my top over here and I'm going to just squeeze it and make sure that I have it in the middle I'm going to let it dry in totally uh, at least a half hour now we have uh, placed our bigger one over here uh, I have of course one block of four uh, left over because I tried to make the top of the uh, owl but it didn't work so I did wipe away the glue over here and I'm going to use this four block also because we need for the bottom uh, two uh, pieces of five so again squeeze it together and here we have the other blocks I already used because we don't want to waste any kind of the blocks so number three number four and number five so we're going to try to do it smaller so we get two sizes of owls this is will be the bottom again we're going to give it a couple of minutes so we gave it a couple of minutes again we do some glue over here just like we did with the other one we're going to place it on top of here squeeze it and make sure that you have a nice straight line again and we're going to place this apart now we're going to get of course our lines but we are going to get I have here a couple of my blocks. I was already out of blocks. We're going to do on the side. We're going to do one of nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to glue them together on the biggest side. One, number two, and number three, four, five, Oh, six and seven and number eight and number nine is the close up. This is one. We only need one of nine. Now we need two pieces of eight. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is one. And we're going to get another one of eight. Four. Five, six, seven, and a number eight. So we're going to place this one in a straight line. 
and we're going to place it aside. We're going to do now two of eight. And then we already have almost already the middle part of our owl because it's now going a little faster because now we're going to know what to do. At least I hope that the measurements are correctly the way I have it in my head. Again, this is one of eight. It will be number two of eight. Over here, number four, five. And maybe you like the smaller one better, and then you can also do two pieces of uh, the smaller size owl. Over here, and I'm going to get a couple of blocks again. I have them always laying around here. <laughs> so we're going to have one of nine, two of eight. Over here, and make sure that you have a nice straight line. Also wipe away the blue. And now we only need two of seven. Uh, I have three, six, seven. And again here, another one of seven. A four, five, six, seven. And again, we do the same. I think you can already dream it, but now you have the measurement for the bigger size and the smaller size. And I am also curious how smaller they, he will be, because I have really no idea. This is not what we want. We place it over here. Number three, four, five, six, and number seven again. Also squeeze it and squeeze it. And we're going to wipe away the glue. And we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. So we have our pieces of nine, two of eight, two of seven. We place the one of nine in between. And of course we do some glue on the one of eight. And we're going to place it in the middle of this one. We do here with the other one of eight the same. And we're going to place it on the other side. And we're going to build up his body. And we do one of the some glue on the one of seven. Make sure that you have all the pieces of the blocks and glue it straight up over here. And we do here the same. And we're going to place this one against each other. Squeeze it and look that you have it in a nice way. So we're going to place this aside to dry in. Of course, what we're going to do now, we're going to do two pieces of three, flat on the table, this and one of two. So very easy. We do some glue over here. This is number two and number three, number one, number two. And again, place it together and the one of two. Squeeze it. And squeeze it and give it a couple of minutes rest. So in the meantime, while our piece of two and two pieces of three are drying, we're going to get our bottom. We're going to get the top of his of the middle piece of his body, and we're going to do very easy some glue over here on the underside. We do some glue over here, and we're going to place this against here. Squeeze it and make sure that you have it in the middle. And again. You give some pressure over here, wipe away the glue, and of course we're going to let this dry in also. In the meantime, this is dried in. We're going to take on the two of blocks of two. We do some glue over here. We do some glue on the other side. We place it in the middle, and we place this one on top again. And we're going to give it some pressure from the top. I show you in a moment how he's looking like. So I told you to show you this is the two of three and in the middle we have the one of two. We do so easy some glue over here. And we're going to glue this one over here in the middle of the top. So be sure that you have it in the middle. This one will be, our will be a little bit smaller. And this way we're going to place it aside. 
And now we're going to do his head. For the start of his head, we are going to do it as, uh, really a little bit smaller because he has to be smaller. We're going to do three pieces of four. So very easy, three pieces of four. Glue together this way. Place them immediately against each other. And this is number three already. And we're going to squeeze this one also over here and over here. Now we're going to get one of three blocks and one of two. So again, we do the one of three and the one of two. And again, squeeze it and make sure that you have a straight line. And we're going to give this also a couple of minutes rest. So we gave it a couple of minutes. We're going to get the three pieces of four. We are going to do some glue over here and on this one. So on two pieces of four, we do some glue, place it on top. And of course, we place this one on top. We're going to place it aside. Make sure that you squeeze everything in a straight line and this way. And now we're going to do on the piece of three some glue, a little bit more. We're going to place this one in the middle. And we do the one of two over here. And we're going to place this one also in the middle. Now we're going to wipe away the glue and we're going to give this a couple of minutes drying. So now we're going to do the top, of course, on here. So we're going to do some glue on this one over here and we're going to place it aside and we're going to do this one in the middle we're going to squeeze it press it together make sure that we wipe away the glue we don't need of course we're going to place this aside we're going to get three blocks and we do some glue on the longest side and we're going to squeeze it and give it a couple of minutes a rest So the three blocks did dry in a little. We're going to get an, a loose block. We do some glue. I have to look for, of course, on this side. I have to look for that. I have it in the right way because we don't want mistakes. So we do it on the wider side from the block. We do some glue. We place this one over here, halfway. And we do here the same in the wider side of the block, some glue. And we're going to place it also on this side of the block. So again, halfway. In a moment, I will show you how the shape is. So again, we're going to let this uh, dry in for a couple of minutes. We did let it dry in a couple of minutes. This is how it's looking like. So three blocks and one on each side. So we're going to do some glue on the top of this two block over here place it down and we're going to place this one in the middle very easy and just squeeze it and make sure that you have it straight so now we're going to let both of them dry in at least a half hour of course then we're going to do his wings and of course his nose eyes and to make it look like an owl. And we will see if I succeed or not. In the meantime, while both of the owls are drying, we're going to get two blocks. We just place them together. We don't glue them, at least not yet. Now I'm going to give the bigger one a kind of a bigger nose. So I'm going to go uh, not halfway, a little bit higher over here. And then I'm going to go from this side until this side. So very easy and lightly. I'm going to mark it. Of course, you can use a ruler. Do whatever you think it's right. Of course, I'm going to do this way. I'm going to go from this side. Oh, you see already from this side to this side. And I make sure that I get a nice line like this. And I'm going to get a kind of this shape, but you can make any nose you like. So I'm going to go to my garage and I'm going to get my jigsaw. I saw this one out and this one out. And of course, for the smaller one, I'm going to do it halfway. That uh, will not be a really big nose. So a little over here on two blocks. And then I'm going to get from this side 
to this side it will be a little bit smaller and I'm going to turn it over make sure that you have a straight line again and we go from this side until this side but of course you can use a piece of cardboard you can use maybe you already have it laying around is also fine just do your own way because you can decorate it I'm just showing you how I do it so again this line and this line and then I hope you see he's a little bit smaller than the other one because the owl is also smaller so you see I have one of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to glue the sides together this way it's going it's a little bit easier because if you glue them together it's always a chance that they fall apart when you are going to use your jigsaw so I'm going to place this one squeeze it and of course this one squeeze it together and we're going to give it a couple of minutes a rest in the meantime I have my little bag with my googly eyes uh, of course I you can draw them on top of your owl but I'm going to use the googly eyes but I'm going to paint them because I don't like the, the look of this at least not with my owl so I'm going to use a size and then I'm going to uh, uh, paint them in the um, black color and give them I think a little white dot or maybe in the opposite direction so we will see but I always have uh, on hand a little bag with googly eyes in every size so I use for the black I use the simple school board paint the black one and I'm just going to go over very easy just make them completely black and then you already have your own eyes and you don't have the risk that you are <laughs> making one big mess on your owl because I am not a great earth drawer like a lot of you already know so I'm going to do this and I'm going to finish this off and then we're going to do the next step so I have my two noses, I have the four uh, eyes, two uh, bigger ones and two smaller ones and I have now some uh, jumbo sticks uh, of course they are a little bit like the bigger popsicle sticks you can buy them anywhere of course I do three pieces but I'm going to make the rings but you can make the rings any way you like you don't have to do it the way I do it because I'm not certain how I'm going to do it so I'm just going to try something so I'm going to get up my ruler I'm going to lay it down of course I have first in one enough I'm going to lay it over here it is 19 so I am going for nine and a half over here and I'm going to turn it over and do here the same I have to have it in the same direction over here and now I'm going to make the line very easy it doesn't really have to be exactly on the half because you don't need the whole piece so I have oh I see already have four pieces I need three so I'm going to get them I'm going to get my tool and I'm going to make little kind of cuts in between of course I'm going to turn it over like this but you also can use your jigsaw and just saw it out it's much easier than what I do so again I'm going to make some cuts I'm going to be very and I already have my halves this way what I'm going to do I'm going to get some glue I'm do one halfway over here I'm going to place one of them a little behind the other one on the half and this way I think we're going to do a little smaller give it some pressure press it down of course you do on this one also a little bit of glue and we're going to place this one also again a little lower and a little bit backwards so again over here and we're going to press this also down and we're going to let it dry in I'm going to do the second also and I make four pieces one will be a little bit bigger than the other because also our owl is a little bit bigger so we're going to do again some glue on the line and we're going to place one a little lower over here press it together and we do here the same 
And then later we're going to fix it and we're going to make them in the size we want. Of course, I have to look for that. I have it on the same length because it always looks a little bit better if it is almost the same. Of course, it doesn't matter if it's not totally. But again, squeeze it. And we're going to let this dry in. So I already did one of them. I just made the size I like. So I like a little bit of the smaller pieces uh, of the um, rings. So I just made a mark sideways. And I'm just going to cut this one out. And I'm only using this piece. And I'll do this two times. So now our wings are drying. We're going to get our owl. And we're going to do the smaller eyes. We're going to place them over here. And we're going to look for where we want to have them. And we are not going to glue them yet because we are going to paint first our uh, owl. And of course we're going to look for where we want to have our nose. And I think I'm going to have it over here. So I'm going to place this and I'm just going to do some glue on the nose. And I'm going to do them carefully in between over here and make sure that I push it a little bit and make sure that I have a straight line in the middle and now I'm going to get away of the eyes because they will be later so but I have now the nose on the place I want of course I'm going to do this one also the same I'm going to get the eyes the bigger ones of course, I'm going to look for where I want to have them. I'm going to place my nose. I think over here. So I'm going to do some glue on the back side. Over here. And place it in between. And make sure that you have it in a straight line. Give it some pressure. And remove your eyes again. And give it a little bit and we're going to give this a couple of minutes drying and then we're going to paint them and i'm going to paint it i think in the creamy color so i have my uh wings on here but i'm not really happy with it but of course i hope you do a better job uh, i'm going to paint everything in the creamy color and then i'm going to glue the eyes on top but i will hope that with painting he looks a little bit more uh, better than an owl but we will see how this will turn out but i hope like i said i hope you have a better luck with your um wings so I hope that everything painted that it falls uh, together, but we will see how this will turn out. I will do this a little faster. So both of my owls are painted, of course. Uh, I think I like them already a little bit better. It is, of course, an owl with uh, some imagination. Of course, everyone can give their own twist on it. Now I'm going to, ooh, you see already the eyes are already flying around. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look for where I want to have them. And I'm going to do some glue on mine, a little dot. And I'm going to place them next to the nose. And I'm going to do here the same. And in a moment, you see the quick impression. And here you see finally a quick impression of my Tumblr Tower Blocks Owls. Uh, I can't say I'm really 100% happy with them. Of course, I would would have done a couple of things different but of course maybe a second time you never know of course i hope you give this owls also a try and make your own twist on it of course everyone who is here and only love to watch i hope you had fun watching again for everyone who is new here of course i hope you enjoy what you saw and if you do i hope you will click the red subscribe button give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time i upload new diys for more diys come on over to my description box there you find the link for our diy channels hope to see you there and of course everyone have an amazing day see you in the next one bye